नमस्कार दोस्तों मैं नीरज एक बार फिर स्वागत करता हूं आपका अपना चैनल ब्लेसिंग चैनल में आज का जो विषय रहेगा वो रहेगा एक चैनल को मैं सपोर्ट करना चाहता हूं रुखसाना मार्क्स जो चैनल का नाम है और कहते हैं कि टीचर कभी रिटायरमेंट नहीं लेता तो यही बात है कि टीचर जो होता है वो रिटायरमेंट के बाद भी टीच करना चाहता है अगर मैं रुखसाना मार्क्स मैन की बात करूं तो इन्होंने इनके माध्यम से इतने बच्चे कामयाब हुए हैं कि मैं भी आपको इतना बता नहीं पाऊंगा क्योंकि कुछ एक का नाम तो मैं बता पाऊंगा कि जो डॉक्टर बने हैं मतलब डॉक्टर ओमबीर की बात करूं तो ये रोहतक पीजीआई में है डॉक्टर संदीप की बात करूं तो इनका खुद का क्लिनिक है और डॉक्टर अमन राहड़ की या देवल की बात की जाए तो डॉक्टर वैभव की बात की जाए डॉक्टर पंकज की बात की जाए मतलब इनसे पढ़े हुए बच्चे इतने कामयाब हुए हैं हम बता भी नहीं पाएंगे तो एक बात और है जो भी बच्चा यदि बायो में उलझता है मतलब कोई भी टॉपिक उसका उलझ जाता है तो मैडम ने कहा है कि मैं टॉपिक को क्लियर करवाऊंगी और हिंदी या इंग्लिश दोनों लैंग्वेज में तो मैं उस चैनल को सपोर्ट करना चाहता हूँ और डिस्क्रिप्शन में मैं इस चैनल का लिंक भी डाल दूंगा आप वहां पर जाकर इस चैनल को सब्सक्राइब जरूर करें और भविष्य में मैं भी मैम की कुछ वीडियो डालूंगा इसमें तो आप यहां से भी आप टॉपिक को देख सकते हैं तो आगे की जो घटनाक्रम है वो मेरे दोस्त बताएंगे कि नेक्स्ट जो मैडम जो आज इस वीडियो में जो टॉपिक को कवर करो करवा रही है वो टॉपिक कौन सा है चलो करते हैं आज का जो टॉपिक रहेगा वो रहेगा वर्किंग ऑफ ह्यूमन स्टेप बाय स्टेप हम डायग्राम के माध्यम से सीखेंगे मैडम आपको सिखाएंगी कि ह्यूमन हार्ट कैसे वर्क करता है और तब तक के लिए हम दोनों विराम लेते हैं मेरी बेस्ट डिशेज आपके साथ है और मैडम की तो हमेशा एक साथ ही रहेगी चलो शुरू करते हैं आज का टॉपिक मैम करवाने जो जा रही है वर्किंग ऑफ ह्यूमन हार्ट वेलकम स्टूडेंट्स टू माय चैनल लर्निंग मेड इजी टुडे विल बी डीलिंग विद वर्किंग ऑफ ह्यूमन हार्ट आई एम मिसेस मार्क्स रिटायर्ड प्रिंसिपल एंड अ पीजीटी बायोलॉजी वर्किंग फॉर द लास्ट 32 इयर्स एंड आई होप दिस वीडियो विल हेल्प यू लर्न हाउ आई हाउ आवर हार्ट इज वर्किंग ह्यूमन हार्ट the working has already been discussed in the previous episode and in this episode we'll be learning about how it is working now to start with the working of heart we have four chambers of heart as already discussed two auricles two ventricles now the two auricles <coughs> that is the right auricle and the left auricle they are receiving blood from the lungs that is oxygenated blood and receiving blood from the body that is deoxygenated blood then the auricles will give blood to the ventricles and the ventricles finally to the big arteries today we will see how the heart muscles are working and how they are able to circulate blood in the body in the left auricle we have a node which is placed between the opening of pre-caval and the post-caval this node is present between the pre opening of pre-caval and opening of post-caval this is a small patch of muscles known as sa node the sa node which is called as sino auricular node this node starts the wave of contraction an electric impulse is given and starts the contraction of the ventricles sorry auricles this wave of contraction helps both the auricles to contract this contraction of the auricles is called as auricular systole now this <coughs> node also starts the contraction in the second node 
this node is called as AV node. AV node, the full form of AV node is auriculoventricular node. Now this node which is present at the end of the right auricle gets the wave of contraction from the SA node. This node contracts and sends the waves of contraction to the bundle of his. The bundle of his is placed in the ventricular walls These are called as Purkinje fibers. As the node is stimulated, so is this bundle of his. Bundle of his stimulates the interventricular wall to contract, and as a result, both ventricles they contract simultaneously. This is called as ventricular system. Now, as both the ventricles contract, they will be forcing blood into the semilunar valves of the big blood vessels. These big blood vessels are aorta and pulmonary artery. Pulmonary artery taking deoxygenated blood to the lungs, while the aorta taking oxygenated blood to the rest of the body. This oxygenated blood will give energy to the various cells and tissues of the body while the deoxygenated blood is taken to the lungs as already been discussed in the first episode where it has to be oxygenated again that is leaving carbon dioxide taking up oxygen and coming back to the heart this is called the complete contraction and relaxation the contraction of the auricle is called as auricular systole the contraction of the ventricles called as ventricular systole and the contraction of the complete, sorry, the relaxation of the complete heart is called as auricular ventricular diastole or cardiac diastole. This completes the heart cycle. The AV node gives bundle of this. H I S bundle of his is written in capital because this is supposed to be a bundle given by the God to us. The next fibers which arise from bundle of his are called as Purkinje fibers. These carry the electrical wave of conduction throughout the ventricular walls and allow them to contract. But when we are talking about the contraction and relaxation, we are actually talking about the cardiac cycle. Now the cardiac cycle can be represented by three distinct phases. This is auricular systole. That means contractions of the auricle. And this is a very short cycle, taking just 0 0.1 second. A very short duration. 
The second is ventricular system. Ventricular systole also takes a short period but more than auricular systole and it consumes almost 0.3 seconds. Both the auricles and ventricles once they have contracted they need a relaxation period and this relaxation period is called joint diastole. takes a time of 0.4 second. Together, all these events are called as cardiac cycle. This small period of systole and diastole can be completed 72 times per minute. And this is also called as the pulse of human beings. The auricular systole and the ventricular systole, they give two sounds which are called as heart sounds. They are love and the second sound is da. These are called as heart sounds. This is usually what the doctor hears and tells you whether your heart is working in a perfect condition or not. La is the sound when the bicuspid and the tricuspid valve open up. The first auriculo-ventricular valve is bicuspid and tricuspid. When they open up, the sound which is produced by them is called as lung. The second sound is dub. Dub is the closure of semilunar valves. After the contraction of the ventricular ventricles, the blood is sent to the big vessels, that is the iota and the pulmonary artery. As soon as the semilunar valves close, they produce the second sound of the heart, which is called as dub. So the heart sounds are lub and dub, which are used by the doctors to tell how your heart is working. So today we have done cardiac cycle, which is auricular systole, ventricular systole, and joint diastole. Joint diastole is sometimes also called as cardiac diastole. That is the rest period for the auricles and the ventricles to relax. The auricles, ventricles, as they contract, they have a relaxation period which is called as diastole. So the systole and the diastole, the normally used by the doctors to denominate your blood pressure. Systolic and diastolic blood pressure. We will be discussing them as we come to the next composition of blood. So we have systole, 0.1 second for auricles, systole, 0.3 second for ventricles and a joint diastole which is 0.4 seconds. Then we have two heart sounds, lub and dub. Lub produced by the bicuspid and the tricuspid valve as they open up and dub produced by the semilunar valves as they close. This dub sound marks the end of the systolic cycle and the beginning of the diastolic cycle of the heart.